Hey YouTubers, Mike Boris with the Mike Boris channel. Thank you for watching. Today we are working on our Bryant furnace and our furnace is blowing cold air out of the vents and we went downstairs and took a look. It is giving a 33 error code. Let's go talk more about it. At the thermostat now and it is now off. All right YouTubers downstairs in the furnace room and here is our furnace. We have a Bryant brand and if yours is very similar to this hopefully we can help you solve your furnace issues again there is the brand bryant and this is an access panel or cover panel this little knob here basically releases that back screw right there go ahead and unscrew that and down at the bottom it's in a little slot so you just pull up and move this screw. just like that we'll set this aside Inside here are instructions for safety. Read these before operating or repairing or doing any troubleshooting on this. However, right in here, come inside here and you can actually get a good reading on your light. And it just turned on. So right now it's off. One, two, three. One, two, three. So that is a 33 access code. And that is right here. That is a limit circuit fault. You need to read this entire thing. Indicates a limit, draft, safeguard, flame rollout, or block vent switch if used is open. And just read this. So here are the troubleshooting or symptoms that can actually trip this 33 error code. So make sure you have proper vent sizing. Make sure your kids don't have any toys or anything blocking any of the vents upstairs. Make sure you don't have any furniture laying over vents, pillows, blankets, whatever. Make sure your vents are open, both the exit vents and all inlet vents. And then continue going through the troubleshooting steps. Now a loose blower wheel, you'll hear that. Behind this actual panel is your entire blower motor and wheel. And if you hear some knocking, you've got a loose blower wheel. However, in our case, it's pretty solid. We looked at it. To get this panel off, one screw here, here, and down there. And you'll just pull this panel off. You could have a restrictive vent, excessive wind. In the event that you had a very, very windy day, what happens is it doesn't allow the actual exhaust air to be vented out properly. And what happens is that strong wind outside pushes it all the way back in and it backs up the entire system and overheats the internal blades. And that will throw that air code. Continuing on, you may have a dirty filter or restricted duct system. However, ours is a brand new filter just about a week ago, and it's extremely important to properly insert those filters the proper way. You'll notice an arrow right there, and that is pointed in the direction of the airflow. Inside here, your actual blower motor and fan wheel sucks all that air in and then pushes it up. And then it makes its way through the ducting of your entire house and out of all of the vents. So it's possible if your filter is flipped, that unfortunately will not allow your blower wheel or motor to suck the required air that it needs. Continuing on, you could have inadequate combustion air supply flame rollout switch open. All right, I'm back with my flashlight and check this out. Inside here are all of your burners and when everything's working properly, this is all lit up. And you got a couple sensors here. That sensor right inside there, that is designed for any rollback or loose flames that actually get out of sequence and fly out of control in this area here. And you have an additional one up top right inside there. So again, if your flames are getting out of whack and out of sequence and coming out in this area, you will have those relays trip or fault out. And again, that could very easily be caused by an extremely windy day. So let's focus on this one. This one actually has a manual reset. That little button inside there, I don't know if you can see it. However, what I'll try to do is show you the actual reset process. So here I am, I position the actual light and right inside here, push it in. And if that's all the way out, that could very well easily be your issue. And hopefully that will turn on here shortly. And it is definitely making a different sound now. And this little fan up here has started to spin. And in our case, make sure this little switch is on the on position. 
This is a self-lighting system, so there is no manual pilot light that you have to light or anything like that. And you will learn that in those actual instructions. And there it goes. Check that out. So double check your relay switches and another part right there. What happens a lot is that part gathers a little bit of corrosion on the connection points right in here. And because of any corrosion or loose connection points on that relay there, it will trip the system. So verify those electrical leads are on, secure, and tight. An additional thing I want to point out as I was talking about earlier, these little safety relays here monitor any out of control or loose or back flowing flames. As you can see, that's how they are supposed to go. Right into their chambers, right inside there. And as you can see, no out of control flames. So, in my opinion, it was not these. We actually had a loose connection point right here. And so what I did was take both of those off, clean them a little bit, and put the connection points back on, and it all turned on. Now it's time to put the actual cover panel back on. On the bottom side, you have a little slot just go ahead and align it properly and inside here you've got that little screw you see it and then you've got the screw hole carefully align it you may have to pick up the back side of this panel just lift it up and insert it and start screwing it in and this little knob here screw it until it's tight that's it. You just need to hand tighten it. That's it, YouTubers. Hopefully the video helped. Do us a favor. Below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Definitely go to your settings. Turn on your YouTube notification bell. Hey, once you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us. That will be awesome. Thanks again for watching.